For years I've been seeing you in my dreams, and lately more and more. I know it's you, but I can no longer recognize your face. I don't know if I'd recognize you if I saw you. I hope your condition hasn't worsened much since you last wrote. I can hardly imagine what a nightmare you're going through. Remember, you're not alone. I'm sure our father would be happy to help, if only you asked him. I assure you that for now, I haven't said a word to him about your search or your health, just as you requested. He doesn't know your intention, and with God as my witness, he'll not find out from me. I know, you think the only thing that can help you is a miracle. But such itinerant miracle workers, preachers, and folk mystics often take advantage of those in grave condition who are desperate or seeking help. I hope the man you're pursuing can actually ease your mind. But if not, Remember that, in the end, we will find a way to help you. Just because we can't see it now, does not mean it doesn't exist. Send word as soon as you get there. I want to know you are safe. With as much love as I have. Ligia. Could you spare a moment for me? I'd like to send a telegram. Of course. Pardon me, sir, but are you feeling all right? Yes, thank you. You're not looking your best. Thank you. What's your message? Take this down, please. Arrived. Very beautiful views. People honest at first glance. Sincerely, your barely living cripple. I didn't mean to cause offense. Well, then strike that, please. Take this down, please. Arrived. I think I have found him. I hope he will receive me. I will write as soon as I am able. And payment? On receipt. Anything to add at the end? Please add my love to you, my sister. Touching. From whom? My name is Viktor Shulski. S-Z-U-L-S-K-I. And Viktor with a W, not a V. Interesting. Name. Where's this headed? Warsaw. Russia. And this is supposedly Georgia. Russia here and Russia there. Russia everywhere, on every map. Maps change. I know, I know. Let's get on with it. Pardon? I was talking to myself. Which way to the village? The coachman is picking up the mail. Maybe he'll give you a ride. Thank you. Looney.
Hello. Are you going to the village by any chance? Hello there. Where else? There's nowhere to go here, sir. The station, the village, and the cemetery. That's all. A horse can't go any higher. The village is what interests me. Well, if you've got reason to be there, climb in. So is it just locals living in the village? Who else would want to live in a shithole like this? I actually meant, is there anyone visiting, a guest? Ah, you came for some healing. Well, he's no guest here. He's been here months, my friend. The people are tormented, so he's sure got folks to heal. Where might I find him? I bet he's still in the tavern. He prays this time of day. Oh, he prays a heck of a lot. You getting in, or what? I'd be grateful. Always nice to have someone to shoot the breeze with. Nothing to see around here. Ah, this is everything. Hard to get lost in this place. Head to the tavern over there, past the little square, up the steps. They'll tell you where the preacher's at. Or this time of day, he'll be there himself. Thank you. Gentlemen, is this the tavern here? Hey, Putnik. You coming from far? Indeed, I'm tired. Nice boots. Are they warm? Actually, I have particularly warm boots. Thanks. And sooner or later, these might kick their arses. Don't tempt me, Luca. Don't tempt me. Give me a sec. I've got to sort out formalities with this tourist. It's your Snami. We are the Tsar soldiers. Those don't look like soldiers' faces. Closer to thieves. I don't think he'll talk to us voluntarily. The Ruskies right. They won't report us. They'll be too embarrassed to admit some cripple got the better of them.
Good boy. Forgive me, sir. Is your name Grigory Efimovich Rasputin? I forgive you. I'm sorry. It's just I've been looking for you for a very long time, and... And you expected this thinking simpleton. An illiterate who swindles sick people and claims he can speak to God himself. I already said I forgive you. Yes, I've heard. Especially in Petersburg. I've also heard about the healings. Even hopeless cases. Inexplicable ones. And what do you believe in? If you help me, I'll believe all of it. And please believe me when I say I've tried everything short of a miracle. And I know the meaning of that word. I'm a thaumaturge. Where are you coming from? I'm from Warsaw. So, from Russia? Poland. From which Poland? The Russian one, the German one, or the part that belongs to Austria? From Warsaw. Do you have a name? Viktor Shulski. On my path. I've already come across people who've lied to me about their problems, and then gone around calling me a charlatan. After them, others arrived, with pitchforks and torches, and I had to endure insults and spit in my face, or flee for my life. And now you say you're a wizard from an imaginary country that no one has seen on a map in over a hundred years. Forgive my amusement. I haven't had my first coffee yet. I forgive you, and I'm still asking for help. Prove your thaumaturge, and I'll hear what you have to say. That's partly the issue I wanted to speak to you about. Does that mean you give up? That means I'll try, but I, I don't know. All right, all right. I've met a few of your kind, so I know what you're capable of. Find something in this tavern that belongs to me, and tell me something only I could know. First, I need to have something personal that belongs to you to learn your trace. It's a sort of pattern I'll use to recognize the other objects. Smell this. I'll return to you in a moment. I can hardly wait. Let's take a look around. Who would have thought there were such layers of passion within him?
No luck. Oh well. Have you learned, wizard? Well, you're a zealous man. It permeates every level of your personality, your faith, your abilities. Not such an impressive discovery. I haven't finished yet. In Petersburg, you left behind a very devoted and very young lady in waiting. At least one, my friend. Have a seat. Tell me again, why were you looking for me? I can't help but ask you about that young lady from Petersburg. Careful, I'm starting to like you. But not enough to tell you about Petersburg. How do you think I might help you? A few years ago, I attempted to catch a wild salutor, and that ended with me losing contact with my first salutor. That means I can't develop my abilities. I know that my Uber is there. Sometimes he shows himself, but I can't feel the link anymore. Generally speaking, I'm losing it more and more each day. If it disappears, my mind... I'll lose my sense of reality. I'll fall into madness. I don't know if I can help you. I don't have much dignity left. I'm prepared to beg for your help. That won't be necessary, Victor. I meant I don't know if I'm able to help you. My gift is something I've received from God. Some I've helped, others I can't say. And I've never treated a thaumaturge. Maybe just do the same with me as with the others. We can try. Focus on my voice. You are safe. As long as you can hear my voice, you are safe. Let me gaze into your mind. Let me see through your eyes. Let me... Where... where am I? Rasputin! There's no one in here. I need to get out of here. What is this sound? Shackles? You're blind. You've never grasped the science of spotting the perfectly obvious. Can you still not see? What do I supposedly not see? Flaw clouds your vision. It always has. Pride. Your damned pride and sense of superiority. I must have gotten that from you, father. You lose, idiot. You always do. You're even losing against yourself. You can't see, but can you at least hear? You're weak, stupid, and blind. Do you hear me? Do you? Do you?
I can see, Father. Clearly. Will you be lying there much longer? I wanted to sweep. Where's Rasputin? Uh. In the cemetery, chasing away evil spirits and giving people comfort. You all right? <sighs> yes, yes. Absolutely. I wanted to sweep. I'm just heading out. <sighs> it's so good to see you again. <sighs> and something else. I saw him clear as day. It wasn't a vision. It was a salutar, unbound by a pact. A wild one. And if so, that means there's someone in the village with a flaw that's attracting it. You talking to me? I was praying. I wanted to sweep. I felt something. Where is it? They're a gawk, but without lifting a finger. Just Vesna will bring it, Vesna will help. But if Vesna needs help with something, there's nobody to be found. Hmm. That's not yours, don't touch! All these newcomers causing more problems. Over my dead body. I reject this verdict. Well, I expected as much, and he wanted to come see you himself. He was first to judge. I said what I said, and I won't change my mind. Go away, you're attracting gawkers. Not gawkers, a witness. And let him listen. He'll see it fairly. Sir. This liar and thief here stole a memento of my mother. And this witch says I'm supposed to hand my goose over to him, too? Because you strangled mine. And what do I care about some trinkets your mother left you? Because we already know you strangled the goose, but you still haven't proved that Bogdan stole your pendant. Where is the justice here? Why don't you relax and listen to the words of a wise woman? Well, all in all, it's... I'm sorry, Bogdan. Come inside, and tell me what you're doing here. 